that was one of my questions too. Anyone that on the panel that would be willing to share one of their business biggest mistakes so far in their music ministry career that could benefit someone in the audience so that they don't repeat it. It could be business-wise, I invested poorly in, uh, you know, a banner ad or a, a, an airplane banner for my record label or something like that. Or it could be ministry or spiritual-wise. So, any of you guys willing to share some of your mistakes so that other people may learn from that? And Andy? This is a little overly well. Um, my biggest mistake was believing that um, ministry growth equals spiritual growth. So, what does that mean practically? Um, I have I'm really like busy. You're booking more shows. That yeah, means God I'm booking more shows. Up. That means I'm growing spiritually. So, or more people know my music. Therefore, I find my worth, my spiritual growth, my deep depth of relationship with God is hinging upon how many people hear my songs, or you know how um, how many shows I get booked. And that can be a really really scary area to say. Someone could come up and challenge you and be like, "You grow in your relationship with God?" And be like, "I'm booked all week." <laughs> so it, it can be like, yeah, I'm, I'm doing mad ministry. And the crazy part is, like, I know a pastor who was a pastor for 12 years before he got saved. That kind of stuff. Like, unconverted men, unconverted men um, in ministry. And God even, God's word being so powerful that even if it's preached through unconverted hearts, it can still change lives. And so that stuff is kind of, like, really, it burdens me because I... Um, man, it's like salvation is a supernatural work of the Lord, and like it's gonna change your heart. It's gonna give you affections for Him. And I, I, I would, I would, because I've seen it happen. I would hate to see people think that because they're making Christ, like I'm making Christian rap, therefore I'm a Christian, and that's not the case. It's not. Anyone true. on this side of the table want to share one of their biggest mistakes? Besides putting out music, I should have put out. <laughs> uh, I say the the power of attitude. My my attitude sucked for many years. Um, I, I thought because I, I was talented, or I, I thought I was talented, that all the, I was entitled to success, and I was entitled to these things. I was entitled to you know ministry growth, as Andy would say. And um, I, your attitude and bitterness and jealousy and all those things would just they will eat you alive, man. So I say your attitude and how uh, your work ethic affects that. Because listen, like it's, if you're talented, it doesn't matter. Like, you know, it doesn't matter as much as somebody who's a little talented but has crazy work ethic. And you see that in the mainstream. So you'll see guys that are okay but have amazing work ethic. And then you'll see guys that are amazing, phenomenal artists, lyricists, but don't have any work ethic and then there's no progress. So I'd say attitude and work ethic, like you have to work hard. You have to work really hard on your job. You have to work really hard with your family. You have to work really hard. You can't just cut on the, the, the music grind on the weekends. Like, if you're lazy at work, guess what? You're probably going to be lazy in your marriage. You're probably going to be lazy in music. So you have to work hard. 